Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our dear sister. The message reads like this. Hello brother Nanshi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? So I am currently staying here in South Africa. The reason as to why I am Deben, I thought that it is far much better because I suit perfectly here in Deben. I am a woman who is from Zim in Mlawayo. When I was still work in Blawayo, I used to work as a prostitute. And I have something that I want to confess to you. I have been living a life and this life that I have been living, it all started when I was still back home in Zim. But I can say that when I was in Zim, it was far much better because all that I did was to sleep with men uh, that were married. And those people that I was sleeping with, they ended up getting divorced from their wives. But when I came here to South Africa, some of the things that I started doing, those things, they are not okay. I have destroyed so many lives, a life that have been built on lies, deceit and manipulation. So currently I am working as a prostitute here in Deben. But there is more to my story than what meets the eye. I am not just any prostitute. I have used some dark charms and some methods to entrap men, to make them addicted to me, to the point whereby when you date me, any man, this is a warning, any man that dates me will end up losing everything. It started years ago when I was really desperate. Life had not been kind to me. I had no money. I had no job. I was struggling to survive in a city that can chew you up and spit you out without a second thought, worse of all coming from a country and then you do not have any papers at all. I felt like I had no other option but to sell my body to make ends meet because I had once worked at this other restaurant but things did not turn out to be great. The guy started taking advantage of me so I was really heartbroken because he made me to believe that he was in love with me but I then realized that this guy he was not in love with me at all. He was just lusting after my body. So I said if this guy had used me like that it was far much better for me to use the other people as well that were going to come into my life. So it started years and years ago and at that time that was when I decided to sell my body but as years, as the years went on I became, I became consumed by the need to want more and more money. That was all that I wanted and it all started to intoxicate me. I wanted more and I was willing to do whatever it I could to take it. That was when I turned to the dark charms. I met a Sangoma who gave me a powerful moti that would make men to become obsessed with me. All that I had to do was to mix a little bit of it into their drinks or into their food and then they would be under my spell and it worked. Oh how it worked. Men would come to me and they would never want to leave me. They would shower me with gifts, money and promises of love. Some of them even left their wives and families believing that they had found their true soulmate in me. But it was all a lie. I never loved any of them. I was using them, manipulating them, draining them of everything that they had until there was nothing left. And when they were all broke, that was when they had nothing more to give. I will just throw them away like rubbish. This is what I do. If I find out that you are broke, it does not matter how much you would have helped me in life. I will just throw you away like you are trash. I didn't care about the pain that I caused, the families that I destroyed, the lives that I had ruined. All that I cared about was the money and the power that it gave me. But my brother Nashi, the consequences of my actions, it feels as if they have caught up with me because they are the spirits of those men that I have cheated. Those men, they keep on coming back to me. Six men, brother Nashi, six men that have committed suicide. When you date someone, if that person commits suicide, maybe you can say that it happens in life. But when six of your men that you would have dated, if they commit suicide, then you know that there is something that is wrong with you. Six of my former clients, they have died, committed suicide after suffering from deep, from depression after they would have realized that I have taken everything from them. They have given me their life savings, believing that I love them. That is what I do. I can make you to believe that I am in love with you. 
and I would want to build a life with you. But when the money comes running out, then you will see that I am gone, leaving you with a broken heart and all alone. And most of these men, they could not cope with the betrayal, realizing that this prostitute has been using me all along and this prostitute has stolen all of my money. I don't care. At that time, I didn't care. I told myself that it was not my fault that they were weak. I always said that any man that commits suicide is weak and they cannot handle the truth. But now, after seeing the spirits of these men, deep down, I know that I used to lie to myself. I now know that I had blood on my hands, but because of greed and trying to complete the project that I started back home, and now I can't escape the guilt that I see their faces in my dreams. I always hear their voices begging me to stop, to change, to find at least redemption. But can some, but can someone like me find redemption? Can someone who has caused so much pain, so much destruction ever be forgiven? I want your listeners to assist me. I have broken people's marriages. Will God be willing to assist me to... I have broken so many marriages with the way that I have broken so many marriages. Please someone tell me, will God ever forgive me for the things that I have done? All that I know is that I cannot keep on living like this, pretending that everything is fine. While least there is this weight always on my shoulders, my sins crushes me from within. I once had a dream, and in my dream, there was this other guy, an older guy, the last one to commit suicide. He told me that because he committed suicide, he is also going to make my son to commit suicide, and I am scared. I do not want to lose my son. Most of the times, the reports that I get from my mother is that sometimes when they speak with my son, if he is being naughty, then the first thing that he will say is that he will say, okay, you are going to tell my mother that I have killed myself. Sometimes they have to chase him down when he is saying that he is going to find a tree and a rope so that he can hang himself. So I am really scared because in my dream, one of the spirits of the man who committed suicide because I had stolen all of his life sa savings, he came to me and he said that the way that he died by hanging himself, so my son is going to die hanging himself. I have tried to go to different prophets most of them they have told me that they have placed some protection some powerful prayers around my son so this spirit he is just threatening me but he won't do anything to my son so this is my own confession i do not know if i can make things right but all that i want from your listeners is for them to tell me this thing that i did can god forgive me and i am scared that if i throw away some of the prayers that were given to me by a red garment prophet then it will mean that i have no protection at all your dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our dear sister strange things indeed they do happen in this world your